want one map for the track and one for the street? Want to change the characteristics of your rev limiter as you're driving? How about set up two, five or seven or as many as 12 different target boost levels? Well, that's all possible and more using one of these guys. A 12 position rotary trim module. And today I'm going to show you how to set one up and how to use it for pretty much anything you like. We get a lot of questions through our tech lines about how to set up multiple boost targets and dual maps for fuel and ignition tables. So in this video, we're gonna walk through exactly how to do that, plus a whole lot more using the Howtech 12 position rotary trim module. I'm gonna walk through this process using the Elite ESP software. If you're using NSP for Nexus, the process is identical, but the software is laid out slightly differently. So it's worth keeping that in mind. Before we get into that though, let's just talk through the basic concept of what we're trying to achieve here. Let's say we want to have a few different boost curves programmed into the ECU for different scenarios. So maybe when it's wet, you want to be able to turn it down. And when you're at the track, you want to be able to turn it up. And you might want something in between for day-to-day -day driving. That's all very possible. But the ECU is not a mind reader. So the first thing you need to do is tell the ECU which boost level it is you want right now. And that's where these rotary position trim modules come into the picture. See this guy here, it's got three wires. It's got a power, a ground, and a signal wire. And when you change the position of the knob, the module sends a voltage down the signal wire to the ECU. Different positions on the knob equal different voltages to the ECU. The ECU can use this voltage information to change how it behaves. So you can effectively program the ECU to target, say, 15 PSI of boost in position one, 22 PSI, position two, and so on and so on. So, Let's pop over into the software and check out how we actually set that up. Depending on which Elite Series ECU you have, you can select either one, two, or three rotary trim knobs. Now one knob can do any number of functions at once. So we'll hit the edit connection link and we'll select an available input wire to send the signal to. There's also a calibration tab. This has been pre-configured to match up with the voltage output of the Haltech supplied 12 position trim modules. If you happen to be using your own homemade module or some other unique way of getting different discrete voltage signals into the ECU, that's okay too. This calibration table here is where you assign the position of the knob with the voltage being supplied to the ECU. Now we have the input set up, let's head into the tuning maps and see what we can do with it. So starting with boost, we navigate to the boost control and within the boost control maps, we want to select the target boost map. Now we want to press the F3 shortcut key or go to setup, table setup, and we get into the axis setup for boost control. Originally, I was just using RPM for my target boost, but now I want to add another axis to that map and I want to select that axis to be the rotary position trim knob. I'll put a few positions in here and press OK. And now when I go to my target boost map, I've got five different target boost levels based on the position of my trim knob. Make some changes to this one, and voila, I can go from full send boost all the way down to grocery getter at the twist of a knob. But wait, there's more. No, it's not a free set of steak knives. It's better. Now that you've got the trim module wired up and set up, it's not locked in to only do boost control. You can use the same knob to also affect any other function in the ECU. So maybe, along with that 10 PSI target boost level at position one, you might also want to drop the rev limit to a measly 4,500 RPM. Why would you want to do this? Well, maybe you want to be able to turn the power all the way down from when your significant other drives the car, or maybe you want to set up a valet mode or something like that. If you want to see this in action, Scott has recently covered this with the Mighty Car Mods Fair Lady. Taking a step further down this road, you may not be interested in a valet mode, but perhaps having the ability to adjust the ignition timing or lean out the fuel a little for that extra economy, maybe that's your thing. Maybe the quality of fuel in the region that you're at is really variable. It doesn't matter why you wanna make the correction, the process is the same. You go to the map you wanna make changes on the fly with, you add the trim knob as an axis to that map, and you make the changes based on the position of the knob. A word of advice, however, if it's fuel that you wanna trim out or add in, the place to do this is in the target air fuel ratio map and not in the main VE map. The reason for this is if you make the corrections to the main VE map, 
the EC will just learn its way back to whatever is in the target AFR map anyways if you've got closed loop O2 control on. If you add your new map axis to one of the target AFR maps on the other hand, the ECU now learns toward your updated target. You can get as creative as you like with these rotary trim modules. In fact, Scotty again has a whole list of things you might want to do using rotary trim module in his Tech Tuesday video called Flick of a Switch, ECU control at your fingertips. I'd recommend you check that one out as well to really get your creative juices flowing. Hopefully this video has been helpful in showing you how to set up and use one of these rotary position knobs. Now they come in a single, a double, or a triple. You can get them on our website or anywhere that you buy Haltech locally. Check it out. If you love the video, do whatever it is that YouTube's got us doing now, liking, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all of that. Ring the bell, ring the bell at the moment. Do that, sign up for our newsletter. I'm Matt from Haltech, I'll see you next time.